balls than when it was outside. That's like such a rare feeling here. Right. You know. Right. <laughs> Chumming for the ballyhoo or what do you? Oh, uh, right. Yeah, we've got a chum bag in the water right now, and then this is a mixture of sand and uh, sand and soft chum. Kind of use this to uh, attract uh, cigar minnows. Oh, okay. Then you catch the cigar minnows with a sabiki rig, or do you? Um, it depends on how they act, but you know the goal is to hopefully throw the net on them. Okay. In a perfect world, you can walk across them and catch as many as you want. Oh. It's not always like that, but. Huh. Are those a preferred nice. bait for sailfish or? Um, they're nice to have, you know, it's kind of a match the hatch type of deal. You know, we're definitely going to want some ballyhoos and it would be nice to have some cigar minnows as well. Okay. Options. Yeah. Well, this is TJ. <laughs> definitely out here at first light. Yeah. All right, let's try it. All right, we're going to get anchored down here and hopefully get the bait to come to us. How can you not love a morning like this? Morning commute. <laughs> yeah, the morning commute. All right, so this is the third time I've been out sail fishing in what, two weeks? Probably. In two weeks. And I've yet to catch one. So I think today's going to be a good day. It feels like it. They're around here. They're catching them. There was a tournament here a couple of days ago. And at that tournament, there was 44 sailfish caught, I believe, wasn't it? 47 sailfish. Oh, in the tournament. In the tournament. Yeah, about 40 some, yeah. Yeah, 40 something. So they're here. We just got to put the time in. But after three days on the boat, I would think that pretty much uh, odds are in my favor, not the sailfishes.
our left rigger here. So if you ever hear somebody start hollering left rigger, left rigger, it's this one here. All right. We're gonna be fishing these on what we call the trip, which is this little piece of wire that's gonna be holding on to the rock, holding on to the line here. It's like somebody stand there with their finger on it. John starts hollering to get it off the trip. All we do is pull it just like that. We'll pick the rod up and we'll feed the fish like that so he doesn't feel us. When we go for it, we're gonna slam our bail shut and just whine. Don't worry about it coming out of the clip, it'll come out. You're gonna whine until you're completely tight on that fish.
Awesome. Nice, CJ. Cool, man. Let's see if I can get a couple more photos for you before we let it go.